Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 26th of November, 2018. We're going to reflect on Luke 21, 1 to 4. <clears throat> Very short one. Jesus looked up and saw rich people putting their gifts into the treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two small copper coins. He said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them, for all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> in the schools of discipleship, you may be pleased to know that two more schools started on Saturday in Bandra, Mumbai, taking the total to 98 internationally. Now, in these schools of discipleship, one of the subjects is the need to share the resources that God has blessed us with. These are, of course, time, talent, and treasure. And by the end of the session, almost everyone is convinced that they should share the blessings they have received, but there are always questions, and top among them is this one. How much? In the Old Testament, this was easily answered. In Deuteronomy 12, 6, we read, Bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and your donations, your votive gifts, your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herds and flocks. And the prophet Malachi tells us to bring the full tithe into the storehouse. By definition, a tithe is one-tenth of annual produce or earnings, so it was very easy to decide how much to give. Under the new covenant, however, the compulsion to tithe is removed. But that isn't because the church doesn't want us to give. It is because it doesn't want to make our giving like a formula. It points us towards Paul's advice. He said, the point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. The point is that we give bountifully. However, most of us don't give, and if we do, it is usually out of our abundance. We give when we believe that our own needs are covered, which is why the widow in today's parable challenges us to examine not our generosity in giving, but our faith. Why faith? Because if we truly trust Jesus as our provider, as she trusted God, we would not put our faith in what we have, but in him. I often contrast the responses of Peter and a rich young man to an invitation to follow Jesus. Peter immediately did, the rich young man didn't, and one of the reasons is this. Listen carefully. Although both were blessed, Peter understood that it was better to be with the blesser than with the blessings because when you are with the blesser, you get all the blessings you need. Something to think about.